Hi guys, so I made it to Bend, Oregon. Uh, of course it's raining like crazy. Don't see that very often in Arizona. So I got soap doing everything I needed to do, but fill up the water, uh, uh, get the slides out. Batteries were real low, fired up the uh, generator, getting everything charged up. I uh, fumigated the RV just to be on the safe side, but I didn't really see any critters. Uh, but we did have a mouse get in, but it it committed suicide. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how it got in, but anyway, uh, other than that, the RV is in pretty good shape. Didn't seem to have any leaks. Got everything running, uh, heating systems, everything, all systems are go. Of course, I just got here, and we'll see how it goes, but uh, we'll see if the refrigerator, I'm boondocking, I'm not on power, so I had to generate my own uh, power. Uh, everything is on LP, so refrigerator, hot water heater, everything is LP, which is okay. And we're only going to be here for four or five days. And uh, long drive, Cinder's very happy because she's got five acres to play on. So everything's going so good, pretty pretty good. And uh, so uh, I also bought some uh, antifreeze to re winterize this RV when we leave again even though hopefully we don't have any more freezes here but it could it's March so anyway uh, I want to thank you for joining me on the way up here and then I uh, will share some of the things that we do while we're here and uh, Sherry will be be with me on the way down so it explain also where Sherry's at so Sherry stayed home and she's flying up tomorrow so I got to pick her up at the airport and she'll be here tomorrow and then we'll be here for five days and then she's going to drive home with me so uh, we might take an alter, uh, a route that might be a little more interesting to film so anyway that's what's going on and so we're uh, very happy to be in the RV it's still a little bit of a disaster but uh, uh, I'll, I'll have it in order shortly so yeah anyway talk to you later guys bye good morning on the third day up here in central Oregon it's actually quite beautiful but cold compared to where I live and uh, the RV was quite the challenge getting it all fired up again um, but yeah it's uh, pretty dry uh, bug bombed it just for the heck of it and uh, so then now the inside the RV smells like raid <laughs> but uh, but uh, it wasn't too bad but I did find a mouse in there but uh, it looked like he didn't find any food and he uh was dead so i don't know what the deal is on that but checking around but uh yeah it's uh let me turn around here so you can see real pretty uh it's about 45 degrees or something like that but a uh, real beautiful day here this is high desert so it's about 36,000 feet high uh really a nice place to live i lived here for about 10 years so that's kind of my ties here to uh, Central Oregon. And uh, <coughs> kind of show you, we're in a five acre place. Uh, I used to have five acres here too. And uh, I'll bring the camera around here a little bit so you can kind of see how we got everything set up. And uh, we're kind of nestled here between some junipers. And uh, today I'll have to uh, get some propane we are running heaters a lot more than normal and uh, uh, I was able to put water in by just tapping into the house and bringing a hose out here and uh, yeah so everything seems to be working pretty good I'm really happy uh, one of the reasons we come down here why the RVs here if you're wondering is Sherry's folks live here and uh, they're both in their 80s now and so uh, he's been having some uh, uh, radiation treatment for uh, an issue and Sherry's mother is also has her stuff too so we kind of are on standby to help support her family and so it's nice having the RV here so we instantly have a place to stay if we have to come up here quickly either by flying or driving and uh, just to remind you Sherry will be flying up today and uh, driving back with me next week and uh, uh, I tell you, if you ever get a chance to visit the Bend, Oregon area, uh, this is a beautiful place. Um, 
the place we had was five acres not too far from here we actually used to have a game bird farm and uh, so <laughs> that was when the kids were still teenagers but they're all older adults now <laughs> but, uh, different life but uh, we really enjoyed our time here so uh, I will be trying to go to Smith Rock and go catch uh, a few things here in Central Oregon that are real pretty and uh, share stories with you and then let you also uh, see Sherry when she gets here and uh, so far everything's well the RVs in good shape could use a bath but that's not gonna happen and uh, no leaks no nothing and uh, we're pretty happy about that so you can see the truck up there um, let me bring you up here just to show you around a little bit um, there's no way the camera can justify how beautiful it is here but uh yeah I can't put my awning out very far because of trees <laughs> nice problem but let me come around this way so you can see how beautiful it is it's kind of a partly blue skies no rain rain last night I got soaked and uh, all is well so anyway we'll talk to you later and uh, thanks for watching well good evening guys uh, it's about a, almost 11 o'clock at night and it's time to pick up Sherry so me and Cinder hi Cinder is she's ready to see her mom and I'm gonna we're at Roberts Field in Redmond Oregon which is on the Central Oregon side of Oregon and uh, Sherry's flying in from Phoenix so uh, I'll be glad to see her and get home and go back to bed <laughs> anyway so we're gonna go in and uh, greet her at the gate and bring her to the RV so here we go there you are <laughs> apparently got in earlier uh, so she got in earlier than I expected so I didn't get her at the gate there she is I get my kiss. so uh it's colder here so I even brought a jacket for this girl. He thinks of nice things for me. <laughs> so, uh, how was your trip from Phoenix? It was good, but... Down there. Was, oh. What? But there's some alt planes, so you're cramped in there. What kind of plane was it? Uh, Canadian something. Oh. Regional... Well, that's freezing. It's a little colder than <laughs> it is in Arizona. <laughs> the one thing I can guarantee is it's a very excited puppy waiting to see Sherry so anyway she's here now and Yay. we're together Yay! see you later so is that your mom is that mom mm -hmm. and that's your bugles <laughs> your bugles is that mom is that, is that mom where's mom hi baby hi baby hi, baby. hi. I smell her. I recognize that smell. Is that mom? Alright, Cinder got her mom back. That's her beagle. Well, I'm going back, so see ya. Well, this is a little later in the day here, and I kind of wanted to talk about what we do when we winterize this RV. <coughs> so we're in Central Oregon, so we got we went through freezing temperatures and snow already, and everything came out really good. So what I wanted to tell you, and I'm also running my generator just to kind of keep things realistic. <laughs> so when I was gone, all my vents, like my water heater, I actually tape all that and seal it. And also my refrigerator, you can kind of see my stickiness on here. I tape all this and up above. And also, sorry, you can hear the generator, sorry. I uh, tape that and the reason I do that is to keep the critters out so you can imagine now this isn't as bad as like Seattle where they got pine trees but if I had a little squirrel or mouse or something get in there and make a nest I'd have a fire hazard and uh, not good and uh, so one of the things I do when I winterize an RV is I seal up all the intakes uh, and uh, just to protect it not because it would be fine if you didn't have to worry about critters and uh, 
it's mostly for mice and, and squirrels, but um, also will keep the spiders and stuff like that out of there from making webs in there. So the other thing I was going to show you is uh, how we're tech tucked in back here. Let me turn the camera around. <coughs> so uh, we're kind of tied in here with some junipers. Junipers aren't too bad. Um, they really don't mess up the RV too much. So pine trees, <laughs> that's a little different. I mean, you see we have a pretty quiet generator. I always appreciated that. So, uh, um, but yeah, all my seals work good. Um, and the winterizing went well and that's the big thing I wanted to check out when I was up here. So we're up here for a couple of days and I'm just, <laughs> I do have a solar panel but it's only 80 watt so it does keep the batteries charged up but when it comes to running computers and inverters and stuff I have to rely on my generator to do that. So the generator is just kind of uh, I got my laptop running in there and stuff, so I'm just kind of charging up my laptop, charging up the batteries to be nice and full. And uh, tonight we'll probably watch TV and I turn on the inverter. And inverters pull a lot of power, and so I only use it when I need to. Um, one of the other things I did as soon as I got here is uh, I bomb, I did a raid bug bomb, you might say, in the whole RV, all cracks and crevices no problems there anyway but I also take bug spray and hit all the corners of the slides because um, there's always a little bit of an opening there so it kind of helps keep the critters out too so uh, maybe it's paranoia <laughs> but I don't have bugs in the RV and uh, uh, no matter where you're at you can have problems so anyway I always keep especially make sure you have a, a raid or a bug spray that kills spiders and it kills ants too if you're down south you'll deal a lot with the sugar ants uh, good idea to have something but I always spray my slides I also spray you can't see them because slides out but I have six jacks in here so I always spray around the jacks up around the jacks um, and if I had a cord plugged into the back <laughs> a lot of people say spray the cord because the little ants and stuff will walk up on the cords but anywhere that's something touching the ground in the south down south it's also good to spray around the tires anything that touches the surface will give a walkway to critters to get into your RV so and we actually sealed everything we thought in the RV um, when we're full timing from critters getting in we still got a mouse in so it's quite the battle uh, all of our uh, in fact I'll kind of show it to you but all of our heating vents have screens on them so let me show you what I'm talking about and I'll be bouncing the camera around a lot on this but our inputs here all have screens on them all of our vents like these here all have little screens on them so because that's just another way for critters to get in so all of our vents in our living room <coughs> all of them have vents on them so uh, it just helps keep critters out and the big thing is under your cupboards See if you have any pipes coming in through the wall or wires. Put some of that uh, um, spray foam insulation and steel wool. And anywhere that you have an opening, try to seal them up. Because <laughs> mice just love this stuff. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. RV's in good shape. The lighting's kind of dark in here. I apologize. Anyway, talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching part two with Outdoor Travel Buddy and Outdoor Travel Channel. Stay tuned for part three when we have a really big surprise. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We appreciate it. Talk to you later.